I literally just have this sitting on my dash with duct tape under it. That's so cool. I mean, it's kind of like not like as high as I'd want it, but like that's fine with me. So I'm on my way to Staples right now because I'm gonna try and find a planner. Things are already being planned for next year and like it's really bothering me because I keep going to flip after December in my planner and <laughs> there's no January. So, and you may be wondering why I'm wearing my glasses or you didn't even think at all. I don't, I don't know how you think. For the past week and a half, I've been wearing my glasses because my eyes were really bothering me. It started with my right one. It just felt like there was a piece of like something in my eye under my contact and I rinsed it out like a bunch of times. That night when I took a new pair out, it felt like I was like pulling plastic out of my eye. It just felt like my eyes were super dry. That was on a Thursday. Friday I wore my glasses, Saturday I wore my glasses, and then Sunday I put on my in my contacts because I was like I don't want to wear my glasses today. So then I put in my contacts and once again it felt like my eyes were just being pulled out of my stinking eye. Thing. Yeah. Then I wore them until Wednesday and then the eye doctor basically said that if I thought that my cornea was scratched and then maybe come in, then I might have an infection. And then I went in and I didn't have a scratch cornea and I had an infection. And it's only my right eye and that's the one that was messed up, even though both of them have been like super dry recently. I think what happened was that I did have a scratch on my cornea and I just took such good care of it. Like I kept using eye drops and I didn't wear my contacts that I healed the scratch and that just left the infection. I might just be completely whatever I don't know. I might just have an infection because something got in my eye and it didn't scratch it and it just made it whatever. I don't know. But my eye like hurts right now and I put in drops like just before I left because I have prescription eye drops for dish stuff. That's pretty much it. I mean like I house sat last week again. As per usual, I always house sit and I love house sitting. And this time I was house sitting a lizard, a dog and a cat. So that was fun. And the lizard definitely had diarrhea all over my leg. But <laughs> It's fine. I'm just really excited to go to Staples and get my plan, and I really hope they have a cute one because I had the, what is it, like Emily Lee or something. It's like the simplified planner, and it has like everything that I like in it. Like, so honestly, if I find the same one, I'd probably get it, but I saw some other ones online that I really liked, but it just depends on the size of them because I don't like huge, like big, bulky planners. I like my little small one, and it's still pretty big, but it's like thin, so it can fit my purse and stuff like that. I'm just excited because that means that like next year is coming so i need a planner Shh, excited this is probably going to be my last video of 2019 i kind of wanted to do like a little bit of a wrapping up the year what happened i feel like this year is the most i've changed in a long time it's just because back then i changed as in like i accepted who i am since then like i've accepted who i am and that's not the whole change it's like the whole change of like i can't believe at the beginning of the year like i used to put on makeup like all the time and it i didn't need it for like confidence reasons i just loved doing it it's just crazy how like now that's just kind of like seems like a waste of time to me and like how i love cooking because at the beginning of the year i mean i i've never like hated cooking i've liked cooking but it wasn't something that like i wanted to like devote my time to like i would with like my makeup also this year was kind of probably the least i've ever uploaded just because of those reasons like there wasn't really anything for me to film since doing makeup is a lot more consistent than like cooking or at least to me like obviously people have like cooking channels and stuff like that but they're like professionals and they like know what they're doing and create their own recipes and like things like that and i'm not there yet like i don't think i ever will be i'm just someone that like wants to try out other people's recipes like i'm not here making my own things i just recently bought two cookbooks over black friday they're actually both vegan ebooks maybe i can start like a little series where i hook out of those books because i'm just not someone who can like make my own you know i don't know the proportions that you need of things i can't just like throw together stuff and it work like i probably could but like you know, I'd rather just like go off someone's recipe and like make it my own if I wanted to, but like have the base recipe still. That's what I do a lot of times. What I was gonna talk about, this is kind of like my wrap up of the year. Honestly, I don't think I'm gonna do any goals of 2020 just because my goals are pretty much the same. I actually wanna do them. I did not read through the Bible this year like I wanted to. That was like the main one that I really wanted to do and I really thought I was going to. I was really strong in the beginning of the year and I like read my Bible every day and I went through like Genesis and Exodus and then I started going through like Leviticus and Numbers and it was just really hard so then I started like skipping around with books and I liked that better so I think that's what I'm gonna do this coming year this week for some reason has just really got a 
has really placed it on my heart that I need to like spend more time in the word with him. I spend so much time praying, but I'm not doing my part with like reading the Bible and I don't know it as well as I should. I do know it more than others, but I also don't know it as good as I should. I'm not perfect, obviously, and I never will be, but I'm just saying I want to make it cover to cover, but if it's in my own way, as in I just do the books that interest me first, because I was doing that for a while too, and that was a lot better just because some of the books can be a little boring like Leviticus and Numbers were pretty boring and I felt bad at the beginning like I was just trying to push through because I was like I I think the Bible is boring like who am I you know I just felt so awful for thinking it was boring I just have to find a balance of being able to read it but also not beating myself up for some reason like not being interested in it if you know what I'm saying I really do hope that this year I am more adamant about that and I've gotten a few new books actually recently which I'm really excited Excited to read. I got them from a Christian store. The books are captivating and it's the second Kisses from Katie because I read the first Kisses from Katie. I should probably just go back and read the first one just because it's been like three or four years probably but um, I never read the second one. Since they only sell hardcover, they're always super expensive, but it was actually six dollars So I was like I have to get that too. I feel like I say it every year But I really feel like this year I'm gonna try and put the most attention I ever have towards God and towards the Lord and towards growing my faith Just because this year is gonna be a big year of changes too And I want to make sure he's the center of my life and that I can rub off on people and be able to actually know the word be able to tell it to people with confidence and know it without being like i think this is what it said or this is what i've heard i want to know like this is what i've read in the bible um 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 all right here we are at staples oh this is really awkward i don't want to stink and pull in next to this car and him see my camera that is that is really awkward thank you sir i guess i'll come back and then probably park somewhere that's more isolated yeah okay hopefully they have a planner there was success and I'm parked where stinking one person is beside me but they're all the way over there and I think that they might be getting out. They're probably just about to go to work so it's fine. It's fine. It actually took like two seconds. Like last time I felt like I was a lot more indecisive. I know stinking plastic bag but she seemed really stressed and when people are stressed I don't like add to it by like making them you know oh my goodness i am so excited i found the one after i found this that i had last year but like the newer version of it it looks exactly exactly like mine but i like this one so much better oh my goodness so this is what it looks like i just ripped off this thing it's the blue sky tab planner it's so cute isn't it in the front first of all it has like a little pocket and mine did not have that this is not sponsored obviously because i didn't know then you can put in the front like it belongs to who and then like address phone email and then your yearly goals which i really like um and then contacts i guess i should put some like important ones in there just in case if i lost my phone or something okay important dates in the front like with all the months and it actually starts in october it just has the monthly calendar for october november and december oh my goodness there's a states and its capitals in the back i didn't even flip to the back this is pretty much what it looks like there's just this but what i do like about this one more is that there's lines my other one didn't have lines in the boxes and in the corner it actually has like a little thing of the dates before it and after it so that's actually kind of cool and then we get to january which is what actually matters it's kind of sunny right here sorry this is what i really like it goes monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday and i like how it's full on it's just like a full box for you to write in the other one had like a separation that had like just lines and then it said a to-do list but like honestly i make a full-on to-do list so i can do like what's due and to do and it goes from monday to sunday and then at the bottom of this page it has a huge chunk that says things to do and that's really what sold me on this i've never seen a planner that actually has things to do in it so i thought that was really cool that's pretty much it and then it has like that for every month i like how it has like the tabs like that's how my other one was and then in the back it has oh it has a few pages of notes so that's kind of nice and that has a big long list of the holidays and it's actually like a laminated sheet of paper the dates of when the holidays are for the year and then the states and the capitals like how cute is that i didn't even notice this back page oh my goodness and it has it for the next like four years look at that yeah so that's so cool i'm so excited oh my goodness i'm so excited i am such a type a person like i love planning everything i'm so excited <laughs> That girl is still in her car over there. All right. I'm literally so happy. I remember last year whenever I got my planner, it was January 13th. And I was like, oh my goodness, I cannot go any longer without a freaking planner. Like, I cannot live my 
life without a planner. I need a planner to do anything. It was January 13th. How did I do that? I remember being this excited when I got it. it was, I was actually probably like 12 times more excited just because I was without a planner for that long and that's just unhealthy for me. <laughs> Let me just say this. This is like completely off topic. Find you a good group of friends because the past year I've thought that I had a good group of friends, which they are still. They're still good people. Like I love them to death, but like it just feels different. Like recently I've just kind of been annoyed at everyone and I feel bad because like I've been annoyed at everyone. I just feel like the inside of me is like for the past week or two has just been churning because I'm so annoyed at everyone and I think it's just because we're all like at our last leg because it's the end of the semester and like it's just time to be done but recently like I've just kind of stepped away from that friend group because I'm like I don't want to feel like this every time that I'm with these people so then I've just started hanging out with people that are my age like it's not that they weren't my age but they basically weren't they're just like my similar personality type and it's fewer people last night i just had so much fun i'm just in a good mood because of like i just had a really good day yesterday then plus today i thought that this weekend was just gonna be a really exhausting weekend which honestly it probably has been okay y'all don't really know what i'm saying because y'all don't know like what i've done this weekend like i went to a graduation yesterday after that i went to gift wrap so like we volunteer like at the mall to like wrap people's gifts for free those people that i was just talking about were there obviously we went to dinner before it was just so fun and like get you some friends that just make you feel good because last weekend i was just so annoyed all weekend and like that made my week awful but i feel like since yesterday was such a good day and i got my planner today and we having a good day today because today is gonna be good i just feel like that just makes the week better and it's just finals which yeah should probably be bummed about that but like not really because i just need to study for a few hours so excited i'm so glad i vlogged this i feel like the last time that i was this happy like on a vlog was whenever i was like getting my makeup if i finally edit that video where i did like the first time doing my makeup in six months i'm actually like kind of excited about that because that video made me so happy i kind of like missed it but also like the whole setup and everything like that like i didn't miss i kind of said it in that video where i felt like i was just in a box in here i just feel like i can talk about anything and i do like i still talk about anything in there too but like i felt like i was just so focused on doing makeup that I didn't end up talking about anything because like I was just like I don't know how to do this anymore. I'm just in a good mood and hopefully I'm gonna go home now and edit that video because I've only edited like one second of it. Hopefully this video was a bit of an inspiration on your goals for next year and like making if you're starting to make a list of them don't get too discouraged if like you look back on last year's and you didn't make them. I feel like I am gonna set some goals for this year but I'm not gonna do a video just because I feel like since I don't have a bunch of goals like there's not really a point in making a video i'm really do apologize for this lighting some people will talk about how like if they do goals videos it puts pressure on them to actually like do them and then if they don't do them then they feel bad about themselves and it's not even that like i want to be like open that i didn't meet my goal and that it's okay if i didn't but it just pushes me more for next year. So yeah, I really hope y'all did enjoy this video and took something from it and laughed a little bit. Maybe reflected on your year and it's okay if you didn't meet your goals, but maybe make some goals for next year that you know you'll accomplish or you really want to be challenged to accomplish. If y'all have any good like book recommendations, I really, really want to try and read a lot more this year. That's definitely, I feel like, one that's going to be a challenge, but one that I really want to do. So if you have any good Christian books, just any ones that are like, interesting and like good like better life books i don't want just like adventure books and things like that because that's what i used to read and it's the only thing that normally interests me but i really want books that will like give me wisdom and knowledge and like understanding of things different people's perspective and things like that so if you have any of those then let me know and if once i do read these two books that i got if you want me to do like feedback on them because i know like Haley fam has talked about doing book club and that honestly sounds kind of cool it might sound nerdy but like it's really not literally all my videos are stinking vlogs now so i really don't think you can get more casual than this but i really do hope y'all enjoy that i still post on my channel and when i do post it's videos that i am really passionate about even if it's just me stinking driving and talking to y'all like i don't know that's what i just enjoy hopefully y'all did enjoy the last video of me putting on makeup for the first time in six months hopefully that was entertaining but also wasn't a teaser of like 
I'm back or anything because I'm definitely not. I just have so many more passions. And also let me know if y'all want to see that video or slash series where I just eat a full day of those recipes in the cookbook because then it will challenge me to actually try recipes in there that I wouldn't have just so that I get my money's worth out of the cookbook and also eat some good food, hopefully. There are definitely some recipes in there that I feel like look kind of weird, but I feel like they wouldn't be in there if they weren't good, right? I really hope y'all enjoyed this video. I'm really happy now because I got a video filmed and I got a planner. I'm so excited. Oh, I love planners. I feel like such a nerd, but it's okay. I love myself. Let me know if y'all get your planner, what planner you're getting. Um, if you're like a planner like me or if you're someone that just like goes with the flow and I really hope y'all enjoyed this video and I hope that it made your day a little better. Let me know down below your goals and things that you did accomplish this year and that you didn't and that's okay and what you're going to do next year to improve it. If anything I talked about in this video was interesting that you want to see, just let me know down below and please give this video a big thumbs up. It really means so much to me. This year has been a growing year. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!